God bless you. Greetings to each and every one of you wonderful people. May the Lord bless your heart real good. Praise God. This is servant Jesus Christ, Robert Dunlap. I, I, I got me a lamp. Wanted to kind of improve on the light. So this is our first time doing this. And my law, that bulb is shining right in my face. God no. <laughs> but we want to try to improve on the lighting and so on and so forth. Question. Oh, oh, oh. Question. How many of you Christians, saints, believers, uh, uh, friends, family, church folk, pastors, evangelists, I want to ask you a question. How many of it, and, 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 I, and I, as I'm on here, we, we have some urgent things going on. Let me say this right now. I want you all to pray. I'm just going to give the names. I want you to pray for Linda Coates, my cousin. I want you to pray for Mrs. Maddie Bond, my family. Praise God. And many others want you to pray for Elder James Martin. I want you to pray. And many others. All you sick and afflicted, we're praying for you. Don't name thy called. I want you all to pray. Pray for the sick and afflicted everywhere. But don't name thy call. And I can think of off the top of my head. Your loved ones. Pray. Hallelujah. We're praying and believing God for healing. In some cases, miracles. We're believing that. I, 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 I just received a call and I missed the call. So if that call is, you know, if that call come back in, I'm going to pause this and tend to that. But we'll pray. I want you to pray. Those names I called, I want you to pray for them. Praise God. Now, and we have saints, Christian, friend, church member, preacher, bishop, apostle, church of God, Christ, non-nomination, the apostolic, whatever you are. I want to ask you a question. Are you perfect? Perfect meaning without sin. Do you have sin in your life? Are you committing sin? Are you falling short of the glory of God? Do you have sin? Now, I ask those questions for one reason. Because Jesus addressed those questions. Jesus Christ our Savior addressed those questions. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our Savior, addressed those questions. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now, Jesus said he is the Son of God. The scriptures say he is the Son of God. You don't believe he's the Son of God, you got a problem. You got a problem. Get your Bible. What did Jesus say about that? What did Jesus say about you not being perfect? What did Jesus say about you committing sin? Did Jesus tell you to sin? Remember the God Jesus said, get thee here behind me, Satan. Why aren't you telling Satan to get behind you? 
for he is the one that caused you to sin. Well, it's our human nature that that came because of Satan. It because Adam and Eve listened to Satan and obeyed Satan. Uh-huh. Satan tell you to do wrong. God don't tell you to do wrong. Hallelujah. The person that kill your loved one, rob your loved one, molested your loved one, stole your money, bomb your touches, put crosses in your yard, stab you in the back. The person that did that, that caused that to happen, all the wrong and evil in the world is because of Satan. Satan behind that. God, God, God don't tell you to do evil. Jesus don't tell you to do evil. God destroyed a lot of his own people because they did evil in the wilderness. Praise God. You say, well, I had God to forgive me. I have for forgiveness. Wait a minute. What? In the book of uh, Mark chapter 2, I'm giving you what Jesus said. Mark chapter 2, verse 17, Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. You got to repent. Jesus required you to repent. The scriptures say there's joy in heaven over one sinner that repent than over 99 just person that need no repentance. Do you got sin? You need to repent. If you're just, you ain't doing sin. If you're perfect, you ain't doing sin. When you repent, you ain't doing sin. You Stop your sin. You turn from your sin. You don't forgive me and you keep on doing it. No. But you turn from it. Let me give you, let me give you something. I think I want Luke 6, 46. Or Luke 8, 46. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Pray say that, that that call I'm waiting on is kind of concerning. But we're praying. Hallelujah. We're praying. Luke 6. 46. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're praying. Sick everywhere. Pray that God heal. God deliver. God work miracle, work wonders. Raise up off that sick bed. Heal of the coronavirus and other things. All manner of sickness and disease. We're praying. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Luke 6 46. Praise God. That kind of concern. Luke 6 46. Praise God. <sighs> Look at what Jesus said. Let's start with 39. And Jesus spake a parable, Luke 6, 39. And Jesus spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall in the ditch? I'm telling you what Jesus said. I ain't telling you what no pastor said. What no false prophet said. I'm telling you what Jesus said. Verse 40. The disciple is not above his master. Jesus is our master. But everyone that is perfect shall be as his master. You got to be like Jesus. Jesus the only one that did no sin. You got to stop doing sin. Stop it. Repent. Turn from it. Forty six. 
And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I said? How come you ain't doing what Jesus said? You say you're a Christian. You say you say You say you're holy. You say you're a saint. You say you're a bishop or apostle. How come, you say you touch God and cry Baptist, Baptist, whatever. How come you ain't doing what Jesus said? He said, be, you shall be perfect. He said, go sin no more. He said, you shall not walk in darkness. He that followed me. In darkness is sin. Let go right there. They chapter of, of, of John. In verse number 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light in him. <coughs> You won't walk in darkness. Verse 13. And the Pharisees said, On the hill thou bad record of thyself, and thy record is not true. They didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God and is the Son of God and came from heaven. They didn't believe that. Just like you don't believe. You apostolic faith. You church of God in Christ. Whoever you are. Talk about God himself came down here. You don't believe the record that Jesus came. Come on, read. Verse 14. John 8, 14. Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and where I go, but cannot, but ye cannot tell whence I came huh? or where I go. Ye judge after the flesh, but I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but but I and the Father that sent me. I'm not alone. I'm with the Father. I and the, and the Father that sent me. The Father sent Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Help us. Hallelujah. 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 Help, Lord. We're praying, we're praying. Our spirit is reaching out to the afflicted and sick ones. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Verse 17 is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself. And the Father that sent me bear witness of me. God didn't come down here. The Father sent his son Jesus. All right. All right. Praise God. My spirit is. Hallelujah. All right. Now, Jesus says something to you. Why call you me Lord, Lord, do not think that I said. Give me the eight to John 8. <clears throat> Why are you serving the devil? In 1 John chapter 3, I believe in verse 8, it says, He that commits sin is of the devil. John 8. I want 30, uh, 31. They said, Jesus said, they said, Jesus, don't do what you believe on him. If you continue my way there, they like you my disciple deep. Continue in his word. Then you're a true disciple. You know when you're seeing you, they continue in his word. You went left. You departed from his word. When you're seeing you departed from his word. Jesus said, man shall not. Yeah, I can go to David. Hallelujah. That word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. But I'll tell you what Jesus said. If you continue my word, then uh, you really a disciple then if you continue my word. Now, when you're saying you did continue in the word, you broke the commandment. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandment. Not break them. When you break them, you didn't continue. 
32, you shall know two, two shall make a friend. Hallelujah. 34. Jesus said, Brother, brother, I say unto you, he's the way I commit sin and the servant of sin. You're a servant of sin. You are a servant of the devil. The devil tells you to sin and you do it. Let me end on it. My, my, my spirit is my spirit is and we're praying. My, my, my spirit is grieving. But we're praying. Hallelujah. Give me John. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matthew 7. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Help us, Lord. 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 Look at what Jesus said. <sighs> 721 Matthew. Not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, say it is to tell enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. That's who going to in. You do the Father's will. And the Father's will is that you don't sin and believe his son. And call on his son. To cleanse you from your sin. To give you his spirit. And look what he's going to say, 23. And he will profess, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. You sin and, and you die. He's going to say, depart from me in judgment. You refuse to repent. You refuse to turn. You refuse to come here. If you come to him, he'll give you his spirit. You must be born again. The third chapter of the book of John. And we're going to pray. The third chapter. Of the book of John, verse 20. Jesus say, well, verse 17. God said, Lies other words could deal with me that the world through him might be saved. It is the condemnation that light come to the well, and me and love doctrine rather than light because they're deeds evil. The evil deeds of sin. Verse 20. Everyone that doeth evil hate the light, need to come into the light, and that's deeds should be approved. That's what Jesus said. Now, Jesus said, third chapter, you must be born again of water and spirit. He'll give his spirit. He that born of God does not commit sin. His seed remains there. That's the seed of God. He cannot sin because he's born of God. You follow God, you won't sin. Now, you need his spirit. <clears throat> you need to be born again. When you call Jesus, when you believe his son, you want to be saved. You want to be right. You want to be holy. You want to be born again. A wild in spirit. You believe that. He'll take away your sin. He'll blood for admission of your sin. That's what Jesus said. Matthew 26, begin with verse 26 to read on down. Luke 24, 47. Jesus told us to preach repentance and remission of sin. Through Christ, remission of sin. Through Christ, your sin be taken away. But he required you to repent. He required you to believe. He required you to come to him. You call on him. He'll give you his spirit. Born of the spirit of God. He'll give you his spirit. Praise God. His nature that will cause you to do that which is right. Before too late, repent. Let's pray for spirit. Is, let's pray. All those sick out there, the sick everywhere. You watch me. Don't I don't know I don't know. Don't I have concern for? But spirit is greed. Lord heal. Lord deliver. Lord set free. Work a miracle. Turn around and help and strengthen the families. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe in Jesus' name. All right. Thank you. Repent before it's too late. My spirit is greed, people. My spirit is heavy. But Jesus is coming. Do it right. You ain't going to heaven in your sin. You disobeyed God. You say, well, I ask him to forgive me. But you continue to do it. You don't mean it. You ask him to save you from your sin. Ask him to cleanse you from your sin. Ask him to give you the new birth. Save you. When he saved you, he'll give you his spirit. It, it's a reality to happen. 
Let me get off here. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for viewing. Come on, we got to do it right. You got to repair of your sin. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will save you from your sin, will cleanse you from your sin, will give you his spirit, give you his nature. He'll fill you with the Holy Ghost. He'll change your life, change you from, from a sinner to a saint, from being imperfect and being perfect. And for a sin concern, live right, keep it command, do it will. Call on him to save you, give you his spirit, tell him you won't be born again. Ask him to do it, he'll do it. Who's the call on the name of the Lord, shall we say? Thank you for Lord. Thank you for it. We're praying for all of you in Jesus' name.